I counted at least ten in the next group, closing in and circling like lions. The whip returned soaked from passing quick judgment and leaving a satisfying hiss in its trail. It launched again and again, infinite lashings, arms moving so fast in this forever rhythm, doing all they could to survive for five more minutes. The whole scene was a symphony of whooshes, snaps, and cracks. Just three more minutes. Another crowd. Bats, skeletons, slimes, and mixed pairings of flesh and appendages, close enough to smell the decay. But the gems were closer. Crimson and indigo, their gleam offering power and hope. Each step forward drew them in, each hitting the skin like warm pelts of air, adrenaline firing like sparks. The whip surged with power, lighting the surround in a deep red, the undead only appreciating its ruby glow for the mere moments prior to its stealing their sight forever. And then I felt it, even from far away. The temperature dove down to an indescribable cold. Hands slowing, arms not able to keep up, body shutting down. And I heard his laughter as he floated in, <laughs> smiling widely, his red cloak glowing in the frosty draft. The scythe was starving and at the ready. Take me! I grinned on his approach, appreciating the last few moments. Thirty minutes had passed. Victory and death were one and the same. Luca Galante developed and published Vampire Survivors and gifted it to the world in March 2021. Since then, We've seen the birth of a new subgenre of roguelites, and it has been given so many names. Arena survival, roguelite survival, auto shooter survival, reverse bullet hell, horde survival, and my current favorite, the bullet heaven. The games in this bucket typically involve the player dodging enemies and projectiles while grabbing experience-boosting gems and building power along the way in an attempt to survive for a requisite period of time. But how could something so simple be so addictive, so attractive? VG Insights previously reported that Vampire Survivors had sold around 6 million units with an average playtime of 33.8 hours. How could that be? As a longtime Bullet Heaven addict, I'm going to try and explain what I love so much about these games, and then discuss some of the more innovative entries that I've enjoyed over the last several months. My name is Goat, and I'm an assaholic. Adjective, containing or relating to auto-shooter survival games. Ass games are one of his favorite types of video games. When we climb a mountain, are we to enjoy the grueling journey to the top? Or is it about reaching the apex and the rush of achievement that courses across our brains in that final moment? Can it be both? And what if that mountain was more accessible? What if the mountain had an escalator all the way to the top and the escalator ride was filled with moments that mattered? Moments that made you feel triumphant. Moments that had you feeling like you were down on the mat pulling off single-handed push-ups with Stallone in one of the greatest training montages of all time. Let's take a step back for a moment and have a check-in. How do you feel at the end of your workday? Have you been talked at all day? Have you talked at others all day? Have you performed physical labor all day? How do you feel after ingesting 97 articles about ChatGPT, image generation, 
schools considering the use of AI to teach classes, and the general thoughts you have throughout the day about the unstoppable marching of time that is slowly guiding us towards an inevitable, well, you get it, right? We're tired. And sometimes we want something that doesn't have a long, more complex onboarding experience with seven different systems that have 13 subsystems, all with their own intricacies that may or may not play off of each other. Firing off all kinds of emotions in our must min max everything lizard brains. Sometimes we're seeking something that we can just get into and play immediately and come away feeling some sense of accomplishment. Let's get back on that very inviting escalator ride now. The simple formula is what makes it so successful. Dodge enemies, melt their faces off, grab experience gems, get powerful, melt even more faces off, feel good, repeat. We are tasked with starting out at level zero, all the way at the bottom of the escalator and surviving the ride to the apex, ganging more and more superhuman powers along the way. And it just works. Oftentimes, there is no real story. You won't have 17 NPCs, each with their own multi-layered decision tree dialogues to read through and digest. The controls usually involve your left stick and one other button to perform dashes. And for us keyboard players, that means one hand working the WASDA, while the other works a cup of coffee. There's very little to tax the brain, and sometimes this is what we're after, especially if you're looking to game and you want something that's light. One Steam group called Bullet Heaven Fandom has a curated list of around 400 games falling into this genre. Frankly, that's too many, and some of them are too similar to Vampire Survivors for my taste. So to help out, I'm going to list off a few of my favorites, bullet heavens that I think brought some innovation to the space. Let's start with Halls of Torment. Do you enjoy Diablo? It's true that you and I don't know each other, but Given the size of the Diablo fanbase, I'd be willing to take a blind bet on you being a Diablo fan. Halls of Torment is going to give you the Diablo vibes with all the hot experience gem collection that will help your swordsman, archer, and cleric rise to the occasion. I'm also a huge fan of the Deep Rock Galactic universe, and if you are too, great news. There's also a Deep Rock Galactic Survivor game coming to us sometime in the near future. As someone that logged about 30 hours into the private beta, I can tell you, it's quite incredible. How about Bullet Heaven with a buddy? Yep, some of these Bullet Heavens have done a great job of incorporating multiplayer action. And games like Monsters Till Midnight can be an epic romp with a friend. God of Weapons is quite fun and unique as well. It's as though someone combined the uniqueness of Backpack Hero with its interesting inventory management layer with a bullet heaven, and it works so well. Seriously, this one packs a bit of a challenge, but it's so much fun. Do you like cats? How about flying cats? Do you miss Star Fox? Are you desperate for more barrel rolls? Are you me? Maybe you're me. Take my word for it. This is Star Fox meets Bullet Heaven, and it's neon and gorgeous, and you should give Whisker Squadron Survival a try. These are just a few of the great Bullet Heavens that I've enjoyed over the last several months, and the great news is that there are so many great Bullet Heavens available and the fire hose is still blasting at full force, fueling continued innovation and experimentation. Just jump in, give them a try. The only thing you stand to lose is sleep. And now 
I have some nasty vampires to deal with. 